Hey, what's going on? I would like to show you how to save and manage material libraries using 3ds Max and V-Ray. Uh, this can be super helpful if you want to save in an external file your shaders that you created. Um, say you want to create a library just of metals or just of plastics or wood shaders that uh, you want to use frequently and between different um, 3ds Max scenes. Uh, this is the perfect tutorial for you. So it could also be if, say, an instance where I have a bunch of shaders in the scene that I would like to um, store externally from this scene and open in other 3ds Max um, pro projects. It um, super helpful for, for those sort of things. So uh, without further ado, um, what I want to do from here is open the Material browser. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is come up to this arrow here. I want to click on that and we want to do a new material library. From here I want to pick where I'm going to save this out at and right now we're working on the interior scene 2 file um, and I've already created a folder called material libraries. I just want to call this test library and we'll hit save on that. So as you'll notice now, it pops up right here with a material library, a test library. Um, you can see I can minimize it and maximize it. It doesn't do anything because there's no materials in it yet. So what we need to do is figure out what we want to save in here. So back in my scene, let's say I want to save out this apron shader. I can take my eyedropper tool here and click on that. It's going to automatically jump to that shader. What I can do from here is zoom in on it and we just want to take this and drag it straight over here until you see that a blue underline and it's going to drop in there. So let's maximize that and it's viewable in here now as stored. So what I can do is right click this. Let's do display material library as medium icons so we can see that a little bit better. Uh, we can drag that out and create a new instance of our shader. Um, I'm going to undo that. Let's find something else. Let's take the back of this chair here. This is a Evermotion model. It is um, saved in a multi-sub-object material. So what we want is the seat, just for this example. I'm going to drag this over here, store it in there. All right, let's pick a couple more. Let's do the metal on this handle. Once again, a multi sub object material. I could save the entire thing over here, but I don't want to do that. I want just the steel. So that's automatically going to pop over there. And let's do one more. How about the wall? White window. Drag that over. All right. So from here, let's say I have all the shaders that I have saved in here that I want. And what we're going to do is right click. You need to make sure that you do this before you close out or try to open your externally saved um, before you try to open this file anywhere else. Um, you need to make sure that you go ahead and save it again because it is currently saved without um, any of the shader information in it. So we just verified and we redid that. We always, every time you add a new shader to this library, you want to come over and save. So now I can open a new version, clean version of 3ds Max. It is very important to make sure that V-Ray is loaded. Okay. So from here we can open the material library. You'll notice nothing's here. We want to right or click on that, open material library. And we can navigate to our project folder where I had the file saved right here, open. And all our shaders are going to pop in here now. We can display as medium icons, okay, drag it out and we've got that shader ready to go. We can do that for any of these. Now let's say that back in our original scene, 
let's say that we want to add or take away from this library. Let's say we don't want this uh, white window shader in there anymore. We can um, right click on that, hit remove from library, and let's add something in its place. Let's add, let's see, I want to get rid of those trees. <laughs> um, there. Let's see, let's pick the oven, oven door, and we want to drag that in, and we're going to click, I'm sorry, right click, come over and save. Now, back in our other version of Max, clean version, we still have the shader in here, however, we can right click on test library, come to the first path and click reload. It's going to remove the shader that we deleted from the library and um, replace it with the new shader that um, we added. So as you can see, this can be very useful for creating your own material libraries, whether it be a metal library or a woods or plastics or cloths. Um, there's many different uses you can uh, you can use this with. So I hope you learned something. It's been helpful for me. Um, please subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, just let me know and I'll try my best to answer. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.